Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with your host, Dr. Brett Palmer. Today we're going to be talking about using doxycycline as either post-exposure prophylaxis for any sexually transmitted infection or pre-exposure prophylaxis for any uh, sexually transmitted infection. So the idea is you take um, either 100 milligrams of doxycycline per day um, uh, when you think you're leading up to, uh, when you think you're going to have uh, sex and then um, about a few days or even a week afterwards to see if you can prevent uh, sexually transmitted infections. Um, another way of doing it is uh, you just take 200 milligrams of modified release doxycycline uh, 24 hours after you've had sex to try and prevent, um, again, various sexually transmitted infections. So if you are sexually active in a group where there's a high syphilis rate, there might actually be a good argument for it, especially if, for example, the same person comes back to a clinic uh, every few months to be treated for syphilis. There's something there going wrong, so it may be a good idea to put that person on a prophylactic uh, doxycycline providing he's aware of the risks regarding multidrug resistance. The biggest fear is actually with other uh, non-sexually transmitted infections around the body. Uh, and for there are many uh, infections in the, uh, the lung and around the body that could very well become resistant and cause severe problems uh, in the future uh, if you tend to use antibiotics in a very ad hoc way. And that is the reason why a lot of organizations both in the UK and around the world are generally against the idea of uh, just a couple of doses of doxycycline uh, to prevent. Uh, the jury is still out, you could argue, as to long-term treatment of doxycycline because uh, when people go on holiday to countries that have malaria, uh, one of the malaria prophylaxis is used is doxycycline and that's not seen as an issue. And the reason why that's not seen as an issue is because doxycycline is taken for a longer term. So the question you then ask is, should doxycycline be used for a longer term uh, for individuals uh, to prevent uh, sexually transmitted infections. But human beings are very, very complex uh, creatures. And you have to remember antibiotics is a general, fairly broad spectrum antibiotic that will kill off lots and lots of good bacteria in the body. And so, like I've, al I've always uh, suggested that when pa uh, patients have finished a course of antibiotics, for whatever, for whatever cause, you then take a course of probiotics and also make sure that the food you eat contain a lot of fiber and also uh, uh, contain fermented foods. I do not mean beer or wine, I mean actual food food that's been fermented. For example, uh, a sauerkraut uh, that has not been pasteurized, so it has to be alive. A sauerkraut um, a salad, for example, uh, live bio yogurt, and these sort of fermented foods, as well as taking probiotics and they can help uh, recover the gut uh, from the assault of antibiotics which are actually uh, are quite heavy. Another way of doing it is actually to get your sexual group together um, and ensure that everyone has had uh, a sexual health screen uh, and ensure where, where possible uh, uh, everyone in the group gets regularly checked and that way is probably the easiest way if you have a, a known large sexual network uh, to try and get rid of syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea um, uh, out of your sexual network and anyone who has HIV, yeah, then it's very well controlled. So that's my thoughts on the use of doxycycline as a pre or post exposure prophylaxis to bacterial sexually transmitted infections. See you in the next episode.